Good afternoon, everybody. Here it is. I believe, is it Tuesday? Or is it Wednesday? Let's see here. It's Wednesday already. And I'm finally getting out to do my garden tour. <laughs> a great big grasshopper. Let me turn this way. Um, garden time, I should say. I call it garden time. So I can be different. <coughs> Anyway, we're going to go out to the garden, and we're going to see what there is out here. Let you see the garden, what little bit it's changed. Hey, Ball and Bell, what you doing, big boy? Huh? What you doing, big boy? You taking a nap in the cool shade? You want to see hi to everybody on YouTube, huh? This is Ball, I mean Bell. He's the quiet one. We have one that cries all the time. And then this in here is quiet. They're brothers. This in here is the older one. He's like a little bit older than the other one. So he'll just lay around and be lazy, won't you, Bill? We named him Snowbell <coughs> after Stuart Little. Sometimes it feels like I have a, a zoo. <laughs> Let's come over here and check out the onions I planted a while back. See how they're doing. Gotta watch out for poison ivy. Poison ivy everywhere in this backyard. Okay. The onions are kind of yellow right now. I need to get in here water. This in here is starting to grow. I'm going to water the heck out of them sometime today. And then over here, from here over is empty. So I'm going to take the weeds out of that and then finish planting uh, more onions in there. <laughs> it sounds like a zoo. We moved Squeaky, which is our white rooster, and his six hens. Since they're starting to lay eggs now, they're big enough to go in with the other hens. So we moved them in there today. My daughter helped me. My daughter from the channel called Why Not. <clears throat> and this here is my daughter Why Not's chickens here on our land. We built this coop for them. They, they built it. We just furnished most of the stuff. Some of the stuff was theirs. And that's where their chickens are staying now. Looks like they got ra uh, chicken. Uh, they got carrots. But there's their chickens. Looks like they need their water feeder deal filled up. And that's her chickens. They left their trash all over my yard. Have to get her on. Get on her for that. This is not a junkyard. It might look like it with all the grass being. 10 feet tall but <clears throat> it's not a it's not a it's not a trash yard and here's my baby chicks what's left of them we had 28 we're down to five aren't they beautiful we hatched all of them even my daughter's chickens was ours we hatched them so is there four in there? Well, okay, there's five in there. Okay. I thought I had five. I'm just making sure. I got my basket here. I thought while we're having the garden tour, I might as well uh, pick some, some food if it's ready. So we'll just do a garden run. I'm going slow. My knee's been giving me lots of problems trying to go out from underneath me. It'll cause me to have to have surgery, I'm sure. Look at my cantaloupe. It's starting to get bigger. Bunch of babies in here. Zucchini. Don't know if there's any growing in there yet. 
I didn't bring my gloves, so I'm going to use my basket <laughs> to move the leaves and stuff around on these things. Nope. My acorn squash. I know I saw one in here the other day. There's one right there. Slowly, it's preparing food. And here's the butternut squash. There's one right there. I know I saw another one someplace, but there's one right there. It's getting pretty good, big, isn't he? Look how big that is. Yeah. Got this weeds everywhere. I gotta get them out. I'm, I gave, I honestly gave up on getting the weeds out. <clears throat> Just gonna take what we get. There's a spaghetti squash on top here, and there's one here. I'm just going to take what we get as it grows. I'm not sure what kind of squash this is, but it's going everywhere. I don't watch my steps. So I don't step on the squash plant and kill it. What kind of... See, it's nothing inside. It all came out and it's growing everywhere. So, just got to find out when it grows the food what it is. So, I haven't seen anything on it yet. It's probably acorn squash. I'm not sure more zucchini down here yeah it ain't growing zucchini yet but we here's one it's not ready to pick maybe one right there anyway this is zucchini i know i have a bunch of yellow squash probably that's ready to be picked and this here's my sugar baby watermelon and the squash is getting the squash is getting in here there's a watermelon right there not ready and there's squash right there. It's like yellow squash. So yellow cutting, growing and all that. And so here's another watermelon here. Looks like a gigantic grape. <laughs> another one way back there. I don't know how big the sugar baby watermelons are supposed to be when they're ready to pick, but they're growing. And the white, the white patty pans, there's one over there. My yellow squash or some in here. I'll pick these later. I'll just lay this basket down and get them later. There's another patty belt right there. But when I get in after my harvest, after my video is done, I will have to um, see how to prepare these to freeze or can. I don't know if I want to can them. Probably freeze them. But that's that part of the garden. Let's go on over here and see the peppers and tomatoes and stuff. Weeds, weeds, weeds. Like I said, I'm gonna put the the black stuff. What's it called? Weed barrier. Putting it down next year. You bet I am. Got some peppers here. Need to get those picked here. Tomatoes are in there, but they're not right. And there's two of them there that's I'll pick those in a little bit. There's one that's green here on the ground. I'm gonna pick that up and put it put it um, in the windowsill so it can get warm, get warm, get red. <laughs> See any cucumbers in here? There's a couple right there. Anyway, there's one back over there, a little bitty thing, about the size of my pinky. <clears throat> Walk through this jungle of weeds, see if I can't find any food in here. I know I've got pepper plants. Gotta get out here and get these around the plants out so I can actually save the food. Anything on here? This jalapeno here. Some tomatoes on that plant. You need to get them out. Here's another plant here. Got a pepper on there. A couple of peppers on there. That's pimentos. I've never grew pimentos before, so it's all new to me. 
So we'll see how this turns out. Get all those picked. I guess the pimentos have to be red when you pick them, so they're going to have to stay on here until they turn red. Here's another cucumber plant. See if there's any cucumbers in here. Bunch of foxtails. There's a yellow cucumber. Which probably not. Might just save them back. <laughs> if we get any. Save them for seeds for next year. <clears throat> it's a hot day today. I didn't even check the weather. Look how tall these beans are. Isn't that nice? I never grew pole beans that grew so good. Look at these. Do I wait for them to dry up before I pick them? Or do I pick them now and, and fix them like green beans? I've, I've never grown before, so please comment. Um, I believe that's the black-eyed peas. But they're growing like green beans. Do I pick them like green beans? Or do I grow them until the plant dies and then pick them and let these dry out and have my black eyed peas in a in a pan and boil them. Someone kindly tell me what you think you, I should do because I, I honestly don't know. I've never did it before. <clears throat> Here's my okra. I don't see any okra flowers on them yet. I gotta get the weeds out, but okra is pretty sturdy. They live through pretty harsh. Aha, uh -huh, looky here. There's an okra growing before the flowers. So I'll get out here either early, early in the morning and get these weeds away from the okras. Oh, I guess the bees are still around and one just swung right by my face. I'm sweating like a dog. Get the weeds out of the okra and then we'll see what we get out of them. Here's my cucumbers. Hopefully they start giving us. I didn't remember when I planted them, so I have to go back on my YouTube channel and find out when I planted them because I bought 50 of them. And I planted them. And I think I'm down to 10, 9 or 10. So we'll see if I get any, cu any sweet potatoes. My green beans didn't even make it, so it's best to just wait until the fall to grow green beans because they grow better in the fall. So that's what I'm going to do next year. Let's see what we got in here. There's a Chinese red noodle bean. It's a long one. Look at that. Isn't that beauty? Probably eat some of that for dinner tonight. Yeah, the ones over there, I'm just gonna let grow until they die and dry out, and plant them next year. So I have my Chinese red noodle beans. There's some tomatoes down here. Some tomatoes. Ah, I almost fell down. Tomatoes in here. Oh. See if there's any tomatillis ready, because I picked a whole bunch of them the other day. I need to get through here and pick the rest. There's four plants. One, two, three, four. See how many I get out of that. And pick the rest of my peppers. Let's go see if we have any pumpkins. We might have some pumpkins. I know I did. Last time I was over there, not ready to pick, of course, but they're growing. Let's go over there. And since we're going to walk right by the birds, I already showed you my daughter's birds and my babies. Now I'll show you my six white hens that I had in my cage with the, by themselves while they were growing up with their white rooster. <laughs> we started out with 20 of them and we ended up with six hens and one rooster. And the hens are starting to lay. I said, well, if you're old enough to lay, mm, I hate spread webs. My goodness. Uh, if they're old enough to lay, then they're old enough to be in with the other birds. So we moved them in here. My daughter helped me this morning. Here's one of the white ones. 
<laughs> hey girl. Hey baby. Old Yeller, where are you? Big Red? Oh, there you are. Hi, Big Red. Hi, Old Yeller. Hey, Squeaky, where are you? Squeaky is what we named the white rooster. You hear him? That's Squeaky. Maybe I'll see him on the other side. You hear the birds? They all, they all look like they're doing okay. Do you agree with me, Big Red? Yeah? Okay. So, when we're ready for meat, for a chicken, we'll just have to do it that way because that's how we have them. <laughs> Go around on this side so we can see from this side of the chicken coop what they're doing over here. There's a old yeller made his way around. Hey, old yeller. You keep an eye on things, aren't you, baby? Hi, Squeaky. Yep. Aren't they beautiful? Yep. Hi, Squeaky. You gonna screw? Uh, screw. You gonna scrow? Uh, make your little crow sound, huh? Hey, Squeaky. Here comes Big Red. Hey, Big Red. Hey, Big Boy. Yeah. You guys look so big and nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hope they don't fight too much. I guess they that's how they learn to live, right? Let's go check out the pumpkin patch. I don't see the neighbor's rooster, I mean, turkeys out here. I don't even hear them today. But that pen's empty now, because we moved them in with the big boys and girls. Let's see what, Let's see if we see any pumpkins in here. Right over here by this tin bucket thingies where I saw some the other day. So, let's see if they're still in here. Hmm. Anyway. That's where I saw them at. There's the pumpkin patch. I don't see any pumpkins, but I did have one in here the other day. Anyway, that's the garden. And the birds. <laughs> so, I guess that's um, my video for you for the garden tour. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully I get some, lots of eggs from my chickens. <laughs> what was that? Big stick. <laughs> Gotta watch my step because poison ivy and I already got it twice this year and I don't want it again. Hey, ball. That's the loud one. Got two white birds and bought dogs. I mean, <laughs> bird, uh, cats. This is ball. And then Bill was the one that was, I was petting earlier. So that's my cats and chickens and the uh, garden. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm glad I finally got out here to do my video. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and, and smash that bell. Let's hear it. Ding, ding, ding. Go all the way up to the top so you can get all the videos and don't miss any of them that I post. Help keep me on my toes. Help remind me not to forget my video every day. 
I want to post one every day so you know what's going on in my life. Good and bad. Hopefully more good than bad. So my next challenge is mowing the front yard. I'm hoping I'll be able to do that myself. But we'll see. That's all I have for you today. Ta-ta.